Ula Buran shipwreck has carried the oldest and deepest excavated shipwreck tidal globally for a long time. The vessel was discovered in 1982 by a sponge diver and was dated to the 14th century before Christ. The ship gave essential information about the Late Bronze Period. The Ula Buran ship, which lay 45 to 55 meters in depth and carried 10 tons of copper and 1 ton of tin metal ingots, was excavated by the Institute of Underwater Archaeology and A&M University between 1984 to 1995 under George Bass and then Jamal Pulak. Archaeologists initially thought Ula Buran was a royal ship because of the rich cargo. During the Ula Buran project, which lasted for 11 years, 22,400 dives were carried out. The work continued at a depth of 50 meters and lasted 6,613 hours. Ula Buran ship, which was 15 meters long and 5 meters wide, carried 20 tons of cargo. The main part of this cargo was 10 tons of copper ingots from Cyprus's island and 1 ton weighing tin ingots with discussed origin. Interestingly, the quantities of copper and tin were in the required proportions for making 11 tons of bronze. Archaeologists discovered 149 Canaanite amphoras, 175 glass ingots, seals, guns, and ivory items at the Ula Buran ship. The vessel sank near the Ula Buran point, lying on a sloping land at the bottom of the sea. During Ula Buran excavations, archaeologists found surprisingly rich jewels. Among the 37 gold objects uncovered, there were a gold goblet, medallions, and rings. One of the most important objects on the ship was the ring of the Egyptian queen Nefertiti. The ring was the property of one of the merchants on the vessel, and he acquired it after the queen's death. Ula Buran ship offers an extraordinary richness with a goddess statue, scales weights, Mycenaean pottery, cylindrical seals, musical instruments, cosmetic containers, cypress pottery, glass beads, and round-shaped copper and tin ingots. Many seals on board showed the existence of merchants from different countries. Ula Buran was the deepest shipwreck excavated until 1984, and archaeologists excavated it for 11 years. These excavations revealed that the maritime trade was not only in the Mycenaean, the Hellenic Monopoly, but the Eastern peoples, Egyptians, and Canaanites, Phoenicians' ancestors, traded copper and tin glass, amber, and other objects. The excavations of Jeladanya and Ula Buran provided important information about the Late Bronze Age and its commercial relations. Among the foods transported and identified on the ship of Ula Buran, we can count almonds, peanuts, figs, olives, grapes, saffron, black cumin, sumac, coriander, whole pomegranates, charred wheat, and barley. The Institute of Nautical Archaeology began excavating Ula Buran in 1984 under its founder, George F. Base. It was then turned over to Jamal Pulak. Ina's vice president for Turkey, who directed the excavation from 1985 to 1994. The Ula Buran shipwreck was excavated at a dangerous depth of 50 to 55 meters, and its artifacts are presently displayed at the Bodrum Museum of Underwater Archaeology.